name is uh, Roman Leonhardt, Dr. Roman Leonhardt, and I'm the director of the Conrad Observatory. Uh, this observatory is a brand new observatory, a geophysical um, monitoring station built here in Austria on Trafelberg, which is just 50 kilometers southwest of uh, Vienna. Just behind the building, uh, a tunnel system starts, um, which uh, goes into the mountain, which has uh, uh, altogether a length of one kilometer of underground uh, tunnels. And within this tunnel system, we will uh, set up this uh, new, highly sophisticated measurement system um, in um, a three-dimensional way. So we will have a north-south axis, so the tunnel, the main tunnel, is actually oriented in a north-south direction. Um, and two sensors will be placed there in a distance of 200 meter, the same in the east-west direction and also in a vertical direction. We also have a borehole within the tunnel system, which goes down 200 meter into the mountain. And with this new three-dimensional um, recording instrument, we have the unique possibility to monitor, first of all, variations of the magnetic field from above, which is the, um, the main protective shield of Earth against the radiation from, uh, from the space. And on the other hand, we can look down to um, uh, movements, tectonic movements um, related to earthquakes and other effects from deep inside the Earth. Uh, technicians from GEM Systems, our Canadian partner, uh, are working to install this uh, very brand new, high sophisticated sensor, which is really unique on the globe. So you won't find a comparable uh, measurement system anywhere else on Earth, and this makes it very special for us. My name is Ivan Hrvojic, or Ivan Hrvojic in Canada. Uh, I am uh, I am a former scientist of Ruger Boscovich Institute in Croatia. What you see here is a sensor of potassium magnetometer that is, has the high, highest sensitivity of probably all the magnetometers ever made in the world so far, scalar magnetometers. This is uh, a sensor that is oscillating at something like uh, 7 Hz per nanotesla and uh, the size of that sensor, which is unusually large, makes the quality of the sensor higher. We have developed uh, electronics and all technology of this, this measurement to achieve that uh, phenomenal uh, sensitivity. That's 10 to minus 9 sensitivity of measurement of magnetic field of Earth. A long time ago we have started cooperation with Mr. Peter Melichar of Conrad Observatory and we have uh, come up to some project that is really unique in the world and which is going to be uh, contributing to the glory of Conrad Institute. This Conrad Institute will have nine sensors that are measuring magnetic field so precisely. And one of them, of novelties, is the sensor that is depth in depth for 200 meters, allowing to measure gradient of magnetic field in this large distance of 200 meter vertical, which is going to make it about 0.1 femtotesla per meter gradient sensitive. This is going to produce data for magnetic observatory that has, have not been seen so far and probably won't be seen but with the Conrad Observatory. And uh, uh, we are now very excited to see the results of those measurements. The sensors are now installed, and the magnetometers are installed and they're all working fine. One of the main things, main ideas is to measurement of precursors of earthquakes. Sensitivity, increased sensitivity should allow us to measure nearby earthquakes of lower intensity. So far six, seven, eight, nine was detectable if the sensors were close to the epicenter of the uh, earthquake. But now we hope that we will extend that down to maybe five or four or three even. So that's the main uh, main purpose but the other purpose is just the measurement of magnetic fields for scientific purposes with extra sensitivity that was not available so far. Die 
Werke, die letztendlich involviert waren, wie zum Beispiel die Web. Different trades involved into this project have standard products as the standard cable drum from our rope yard company, fitting onto their machines. We integrated this cable drum into our construction and added the function of a lifting winch to it. The magnetic sensor itself is not very heavy, but the special cable for data and power transmission has quite some weight. At its hanging length of approximately 200 meters, it's more than 200 kilograms. This weight is too high for a plastic and copper construction like that cable without strength support. So we asked the rope yard company to add a carrying coat with a very special fiber onto this cable. This very special synthetic material can stand the very high humidity for a very long time. It is less elastic than steel and its elongation over the time is very low. The magnetic sensor is several hundred meters away from the measuring device. So a small amplifier is necessary about seven to eight meters away from the magnetic sensor. At normal horizontal sensor installation, this amplifier unit could be simply placed on the ground, but it is not designed to be hanged with load into a deep hole. After some searching, we found a cable sleeve that covered the amplifying unit safely. Excellent, so because the sensor is not toggling, not rotating, mm -hmm. it's uh, mm -hmm. very good and uh, so, congratulations. <laughs> so there is a local magnetic uh, gradient here, so any uh, contamination of the, of the ground, the local uh, installation, so what we'll do is we'll raise the sensor off the ground, we'll put it on a very uh, steady pillar, and this will put it in a very clean, homogeneous spot with low gradient, which will uh, maximize the operation of sensor. It's important to know exactly where each sensor is. Uh, the best optimum installation would be that the sensors would be in a complete row. So what we've done now is we, we optimized uh, all the systems, all of the sensors, uh, and that all, all three systems have been tested and are meeting the specification. Uh, they all have the correct uh, polarization power, they all have the correct temperature, uh, they all lock and have uh, very nice signals. I'm really happy today because this is an exciting and very unique installation and fascinating cooperation with Jam System. And at first I wouldn't talk everybody, but in, in the first row, the president. Thank you for understanding what we, what I like to do here, because 
the idea of the first, the worldwide first three-dimensional gradiometer with supergrad. The resolution is in the uh, area of uh, uh, femtotesla. Uh, this is nearly... 10 uh, to minus 15 tesla. 10 to minus 15 tesla. Yes, yeah, that's, yeah, that, yeah. that's the correct mathematical right. formulation. Uh, and this is uh, really unique in the world because no, nobody can see it in a, 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 up to this time in a continuous way. Yeah? Because Conrad Observatory, the speciality of Conrad Observatory is a really uh, a quiet site. Yeah? There is, uh, the noise in any case is very low. It's a low noise facility uh, for magnetic and therefore we are underground so we have uh, 14 meter of uh, rock above us and uh, uh, we have their constant temperature of, of uh, 7 degrees that means uh, uh, we, we, have, we reduce noise in sensors in the physical uh, parts of the sensors and also in the electronic because everybody knows uh, temperature changes changes uh, uh, produce variation of resistors and uh, mechanical parts so and and we get this seven degrees from the rock without paying anything we okay. nobody Very can nobody you know nobody can make a climatization yeah or uh, 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 with non-magnetic materials and especially no cost. Yeah. So yes. this is the, the idea why I thought we should put the magnetic observatory in the rock. This was my idea and as I heard the first time from your fantastic uh, gra super gradiometer system, I thought it, uh, it's, it was my dream uh, to have an underground super gradiometer system in horizontal components, 200 meter uh, east, west, and north, south, and speciality also unique in the world: vertical 200 meter. What, what you are thinking? What what we can do in the future, or what? Yeah, how is it? Well, uh, it all came out uh, as expected, and maybe a little bit even better than what was expected, ah, because we we, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we thought that we will need longer time to install yeah. all those things, because it's a complex thing. It has 1.5 kilometer of cables oh. <laughs> for, for nine sensors. So you have to handle all those things and you have to handle this lower temperature and so on and so on. And the uh, preliminary results, which maybe uh, I will tell them anyway, uh, but they are preliminary. They are showing that the sensitivities are being reduced better from former 50 femtotesla difference between the two sensors to maybe 30 femtotesla or something like that. And once this all is stabilized, perhaps we can go even further down. That perhaps seems to be, to the non-specialist, seems to be irrelevant, but it's not. This is improvement of factor of two, which you don't get very often in, in instrumentation. And, yeah. and this means that the uh, fine measurements of magnetic fields that will follow, mm -hmm. that the Conrad Observatory will, will, will do and uh, make the results available to the world, I suppose, that this is going to be even finer at that time. Of course, there are some other projects that uh, Peter here is, <laughs> is dreaming yeah. about and <laughs> I am fully with him because I am a dreamer too. <laughs> I used to be completely yeah. non-material scientist in my beginning of yeah. my career yeah. and okay there is a material part here but this material part means that I can do things that I couldn't otherwise. Yes. Uh, this, is, this is the purpose. Yeah, yeah this is very interesting. Yeah. So we yeah. uh, both we have a vision yeah? so we, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we don't want to stand and wait for something so we have an <coughs> idea and uh, uh, try to realize uh, all these things step by step. But for the moment, I think we are both happy yeah, that yes. this installation was full successful. Yeah, full it was success. really successful. Full, full success. success. Yes.
we have finally now achieved the routine operation of the system in all its details and that means that the system is a full success. This here is a record lasting about five minutes and it's running as you can see so it's live data measured right now. The two measurements between the two sensors are very closely synchronized so that there is no difference in, in, in reading, there is no, it is a real gradient and this gradient is shown here as one picotesla full scale uh, while that here is several hundred picotesla vertical scale. So it, between each of those red lines here there is 0.2 picotesla uh, uh, change of magnetic field and as you can see character of that is really not a noise character but a real record of the gradients, re residual gradients in magnetic field of Earth. Yeah. There are a total of nine sensors yeah. which are arranged in line north-south and in line east-west and uh, vertical sensors. Vertical sensors we described already, this is on the left uh, record, this is about five minutes of that. The data are possible to, be, to see in very short periods of time or very long trends and changes in, in, in the level. However, this is not the end of the story. We are looking now to first find, find optimize the system still and then go and increase sensitivity further and there is a good chance of increasing that by using fiber optic pumping which is maybe going to improve the sensitivity by a factor of two to two and a half according to theory. Then we would, we would achieve theoretical sensitivity available from that system and this is again a step that we want to implement now in next maybe six months or a year. What's coming after is hard to say but we will not stop ever. Thank you.